to say. Yeah, keep asking me about this guy, Kevin Samuels. Now, so Kevin Samuels is another, like, uh, Steve Harvey type that gives advice or whatever the case may be. Give you, give ladies advice. He don't give men advice. He's really giving wi women advice. And, um, he's trying to go viral by the things he said. So I was never going to bring him up until my husband came across the video and showed me the video. In this video, he's telling a woman that maybe she's not worthy of the type of man that she wants. That she has a, she's 32 years old with a 13 year old child. And how does she know she's qualified for certain men? Because she was trying to say like, she liked men, but if they're ugly, stuff like that. He's trying to say, well, what makes you qualified and things of that nature for a man that you want and blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm not saying that Kevin Samuels are not saying some things that is correct with women. Because a lot of times I feel like. It maybe it's you, sis. I do feel that way sometimes. When it comes down, I see women and they don't have a man or anything like that. I feel that way. But you're talking to a man who's giving advice from a misogynistic point of view. This is what I don't like about y'all. All these years, I've been giving y'all advice. And I've been giving y'all great advice. Y'all made me a star off of my great advice. But I feel like a lot of times y'all weren't listening to women. We're all women. Okay, so women are supposed to be listening to women. Instead, y'all let misogynistic men like Steve Harvey. First of all, when it come down to a woman giving advice, no front and y'all always be like, well, where her man at? Where, where her husband at? She's giving advice. Where her husband's at? Y'all always say that. But when it comes down to a man giving advice, y'all never check the whole facts on a man. I don't like that. So, for example, Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels looks like some geek nigga that nobody ever paid no mind to that found a way to become viral by downing women. He basically told his woman that you're 32 years old with a 13 year old child. What what the what that mean? What is he talking about? First of all, he he don't know what he's talking about because first of all, I know multiple men, including my cousins, that had no kids that married women with five kids. I know multiple men who married chicks with six kids and didn't have no kids. I was just looking on Instagram, and it was a couple, and it was a hip guy. And he got a kid by somebody. His first kid is going to be with a woman that got five kids. So maybe you should say, Kevin Samuels, that you wouldn't fuck with a woman that got five kids. Or you wouldn't mess with a woman that got 32-year-old with a 13-year-old. But the reality of it is that that's messy. And you know what? That is nothing but another man playing on a woman's self-esteem. So that's why I don't bring up no loser like that. Because where's his wife at? A lot of these men that be walking around giving all this beautiful, wonderful Steve Harvey advice ain't shit and don't got shit and don't even know how to treat a woman. That's why they can sit there and play on the self-esteem of a weak woman. A weak woman could sit there on that phone and hear him tell them, oh, your face is a 5'6". Let me explain something to you, ho. Kevin Samuels, I would not care if I look like this online talking to you. You would never sit there and tell a strong black woman like myself that I'm a 5 or 6 in the face. According to who? Your nerdy, corny looking ass, that's who this is? So y'all sit there and let this cornball man sit there and tell her she's a five in the face? And she, how would she know she qualified for any guy she wants because she has a 13-year-old child and she's 32 years old? See, that's why I don't be bringing up people because I be tired of y'all. Y'all be liking these people that is so fucking corny. And they be saying, they be playing with y'all in y'all face. No matter what, he's another man playing on your insecurity. Just like that man that playing you in your face. Just like that man that didn't spend day, um, Valentine's Day with you yesterday. Just like that man that didn't come home and he went inside chick last night. Playing with you in your face is another man playing with you in your face. Steve Harvey, when he came out, me and Steve had an event together. He wouldn't even look my way. Because he know he is a fraud. And people, like... Real always intimidate fake. And I'm not ignoring you guys. Shout out to you guys on the second camera Facebook. How you doing? Good morning. Real is going to always intimidate fake. See, when they walk in a room and they see me, now the, now the swag is changing. Because they're like, wait, she a real one. She's going to rebut. She's going to give me a rebuttal. And then since she's going to give me a rebuttal, I'm going to keep it moving. I'm not going to talk to Tiana Smalls. So when I came out with Girl Get Your Mind Right, me and Steve Harvey started around the same time with the love advice. But the end of the day, Steve Harvey's a fraud. Steve Harvey never treated no woman right that he had. The woman that he is treating right is only because she's not going to have it. She's going to be on to the next guy. You'll see her marrying some old freaking Charles Barkley dude with a lot of money. She's not going to have it with Steve. But if she was a punk ass bitch, he'll be treating her the way he treated Mary. 
You better, y'all gotta do y'all receipts on men. That's what I'm trying to say. Y'all always wanna check out women. A lot of women try to give y'all advice back in the day, and y'all played them because y'all be like, oh, she ain't got no man. I don't wanna hear what she gotta say. She don't got this. So, a woman gotta have a man to give y'all advice, and a man doesn't have to have a woman to give y'all advice. A woman gotta have a husband to give y'all advice, but a man can have three marriages that were not successful. Problem is, y'all look at other people as y'all role models. Instead of people that y'all know in your face that should be your role model. None, no nigga could give me advice. No man could give me advice. The only man that could give me advice is Big Tommy. Tommy Smalls. Daddy T is the only man that could give me advice. My Uncle Bushy that died, he could give me advice because he was married 42 years. Y'all letting these Negroes that are celebrities give y'all advice. Look at the guy that um, got married to Latoya Lucky, Rob Hill, all those guys. Tony Gaskin, all those guys. They playing on y'all insecurities. And this Kevin Samuel guy, he's even worse because he's telling chicks like, you're not, you're not cute. You're a five. You're a six. And y'all think that's cute. It's time for us to stop supporting these misogynistic men who come from broken homes, had broken marriages. They even got broken uh, fatherhood stuff. Guys wasn't even fathers to y'all children. <laughs> So I don't want to hear nothing that they got to say about anything. That's not empowerment. Women empowerment is not telling a woman that she's a good five in the face. That's not funny to me. And it's not cute. So don't bring up Kevin Samuels to me. Because Kevin Samuels is just like another Steve Harvey to me. A fucking fraud. And he can't fuck with me in any debate. He can have any debate with me. And if whoever screen records this, go back and tell him. Go and tell him. Because he won't debate with Big T. He's going to do his research. And no, he's talking to a strong confident well-educated black woman and that's the problem y'all are always show your weakness to a man you're not going to grow showing your weakness to no man whatever it is you got to fucking work out within yourself whether it's your self-esteem whether it's your body whether it's your mind you work that out without a man knowing your business that's a problem. Every time y'all meet a new man y'all tell him y'all insecurities you tell him what you did wrong with the last man the less you say is the better you're going to be. And I'm telling you, this is real talk early in the morning, coach cooch in the morning. The less you talk about your insecurities to a man, I don't care if it's your husband. My husband stays saying, oh, you didn't tell me that. You didn't tell me that. It is what it is. And check the receipts of the person that you're following. Just like a lot of y'all follow certain women online. They're crying on Instagram on Valentine's Day. What is that? Is that a leader to you guys? Is that who you want to be? You think that life is all about money? Because let me tell you something. There's a lot of bitches with money, but they was mad and miserable. They ass was quiet last night. All these chicks y'all want to be like. They ain't have not one man send you a card. Nobody offered to take you out. Not one. Watch who you're following. Watch who you're following. It's not all about the money. It's not all about the clout. This person leading you down a fucking bad road, a lonely road. And that's why I put up what I put up in my stories that this life, the real bag is happiness. Whatever happiness is to you is the real bag. A lot of people was going out sad last night. And that's why I ain't putting nothing up because I don't like to make people feel bad. But my life is good every day. So I don't have to do it only for um, Valentine's Day. But a lot of you guys is following all these girls that tell y'all fuck that, get money. But they were real lonely last night. And real sad and crying online, looking stupid. Stop being a follower. Be a leader. Find out what make you happy. Because it ain't all about listening to dumbass people like Kevin Samuels and dumbass uh, Steve Harvey who can't even get his own stepdaughter coochie right. Y'all better stop. And that's it. I don't want to hear nothing else about Kevin Samuels. Don't write me about it. I do not care about men that talk about women. I don't like men that talk down to women. I don't like none of that stuff. I don't even want to hear about these hoes y'all think getting money. Great. Everybody's getting money. That's great. But everybody was real fucking quiet yesterday on Valentine's Day. Not a husband. Not a baby daddy in their face. Nothing. I don't, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So yeah, you know my real job is real estate. Just my part-time job. Anyway, so did I make myself clear about Kevin Samuels? Stop asking me about that fucking loser. Stop asking me about any of these men that talk down on women. They, they're nothing but misogynistic assholes. And I'm so sick of it.